It's still plus politics. Now, the Zamfara State Commissioner for Women and Children, Ravi Ibrahim Shinkathi, has confirmed that she has resigned as, uh, her, from her position as Commissioner and member of the Zamfara State Executive Council. This was contained in a statement copied from her Facebook page as part of her reaction that she resigned due to some friction between her ministry and the office of the First Lady. She disclosed that she resigned to pick another appointment from Governor Hope Uzodima as Commissioner in Nemo State. Well, joining us to discuss this is Obina Chiku. He's a legal practitioner. Thank you very much, uh, Bryce Obina, for joining us. Thank you for having me. So it's interesting uh, for us to see the, this turn of events, you know, from Zamfara to Imo State. This is something that you rarely see. You probably see one, of, one or two of these kinds of things. Um, in Lagos State or, let's say, Cross River State, where you have people with different surnames in government. But this is hardly ever seen in other parts, especially in Imo State. So my first question is, um, what exactly is going on in Imo State? Okay. I, a lot is going on in Imo State. I, aside from the security situation, which uh, I think the security agencies are, are doing a lot in order to uh, restore normalcy. Um, we got into the, the commissionership position and uh, as relates to San Francisco State, a few days ago we heard or we read from the papers that uh, a commissioner in, Zamf in Zamfara State resigned to take up a commissionership position in Nemo State. That's the much we know about that. But uh, if I'm asked to, to speak on that uh, as to whether or not what uh, happened or what is happening is good, I will say to, to me, um, is, is good in many ways. I have always said it, that to make or to unify Nigeria, it must be a, an action that, that concertedly uh, the nation or the people uh, agree to do it. It's not something that, uh, that one person wakes up in the morning and now takes the decision to do that. I've always advocated that we must, in all the various states, have people from, give people a sense of belonging. If some, for goodness sake, I'm not saying that it relates to this, but for goodness sake, if somebody has resided in a place for even five or more years, I think the person should, should qualify to get whatever they so, so, but you, you have the Muslim community. You have the, you have the, um, I think it's called the Sadiq King, uh, in those areas, in every state, actually. So, you, we, we, the governor couldn't find someone within that state, a woman or a man, um, to fill that position. He had to go all the way to Zamfara State to bring somebody, in your words, to try to unify Nigeria. How unifying is that, especially for the people who reside in that state? And emo people who might not necessarily be uh, open to this idea. I, I yes. Um, regarding to the issue of uh, importing somebody from another state to come to take uh, a position or commissionership position or to serve in government in another state, I would say looking at it from the point of. Uh, of view of, of uh, somebody who has resided in Imo State for many years and uh, is qualified to hold such position and is not given an uh, given opportunity to hold such position. I will say that in that aspect, it is not the right thing to do. But again, I like uh, they do say that it is never never late, and that um, I, the Imo people will say that. When a man wakes up in the morning and wakes up, it doesn't matter the time of the day that that is the person's morning. I will applaud uh, it only to the extent that at least you know, the action seems 
to unify Nigeria. There are a few things you can use. But uh, number one is disappointment. Allowing people to have, if somebody is qualified and uh, uh, the person has resided in that place or has something to do with the state, you can appoint the person to serve. All, all that it takes is your service. Then another thing is that consistently, we must allow marriages across the states, across the tribal uh, uh, groups, so that at least by so doing, if there is a plan, uh, a plan or a master plan towards unifying Nigeria, such master plan must have a, a, a marriage is enshrined in it, so that we can have marriages across board. Because okay. evidence or available research has shown that when you have people, for instance, if you have Igbo people littered or living in Zamfara State, if the Igbos uh, from Imo State or from many of the states uh, wants to attack uh, Northerners or people that uh, from Zamfara that are living in Imo State, they will think twice because, again, there are Imo State in that place. Mm. That, goes, that corroborates with the saying that he who lives in a glass house does not need to throw stones because, of course, uh, when the other person decides to retaliate, uh, your house is built with uh, glasses. And, uh, I want to course, come in there because uh, as much as all of this seems really interesting really and, and, and very, you know, enlightening to some extent, um, are you trying to tell me, again, I'm, I'm just playing the devil's advocate here for the people of Emo State, that there was no person in Emo State that could fit that position? And again, one would wonder, what exactly does Shinkafi have that no other woman in Emo State has that could fill that position. Again, let's look at her personality and the reasons for which she's saying she left her own state because she had squabbles with, allegedly, the office of the First Lady, her ministry and the office of the First Lady. This is her reason for leaving. And this is her country, uh, rather her state, where she speaks the same language with the people. Now she is, and I'm not in any way trying to bring any form of sex sectionalism into this conversation, but I'm saying if this is the, the grounds for which she left her state, what is to say that she would have a great working relationship within the Imo state government? And how does this rub off on the people of the state? The governor does have his right to, you know, um, say that this is who I want to work with uh, or not. But what about the interest of the average emo person? Okay, first let us understand it from the point of law. The law allows only the governor to select whoever that will serve in the executive council. The law did not in any shape or form allow for any appointment in the executive council from anybody other than the governor of the state. That's what the law says. And in that provision, the law did not uh, stipulate where and uh, whether the person so to be appointed must reside in a particular state. But uh, whatever uh, discussion or discourse that uh, people are having regarding to giving opportunity to those that reside in the state, I think that one may just... Uh, one may just be looking at it from the moral point of view or from the view that uh, uh, there are people living in the state that may have contributed immensely to the state. That's all. Those people should be given opportunity. But again, uh, the Constitution did not give anybody, did not extend to anybody other than the governor the power and the right to select who works with him. And at the end of the day, too, if the governor decides to appoint somebody, who may not work in tandem with his uh, blueprint or with uh, the policies or the aims of that administration. If anything happens, the, the whole Nigerians or the state, the uh, citizens of that state will, will, hold, the go will hold government, uh, that particular administration accountable. They will not hold any other person. So if the governor decides to uh, import or to appoint somebody who has never resided in that particular state as a commissioner. I will say, in my own view, that is good. Let them appoint. I have always advocated that we must not have 
we must not have in every state, assuming if the commissionership positions are 15, I have always advocated that the law, in fact, it should be a part of our laws, that at least three must come, three must come from all uh, different ethnic groups, so that we can, we can gradually, persistently, and concertedly try to unify the nation. The reason why at every time, what, uh, every little uh, altercation or every little disagreement happens, everybody rushes, rushes back to his uh, ethnic cocoon is because it, it, we, we have not made concerted effort to unify Nigeria. I will say to those that reside in Nemo State or that have resided in Nemo State and have qualification to be appointed as a, as a commission in Nemo State, I will tell them to take a cheap pill. Maybe as this, since the governor has started this, I believe that maybe if it continues, subsequent government will come. Uh, if not this, subsequent government will come, and that government will try as much as possible to give a sense of belonging to those in the state. But looking at it from the point of law, the yeah. governor law, whether in Lagos State or in uh, like in Lagos State, that has become a pattern in Lagos State, and we can see the output from Lagos State. Lagos yeah. State is about is not only the center of excellence in terms of nomenclature. It, it is a center of excellence in terms of the activities that they are doing, whether it's in law, whether it's in uh, ensuring that the law works and all that. Lagos State is, is, really, is really number one. I cannot mention any other state that is catching up with them other than, okay. other than uh, strolling from afar. Okay. So if... I just want so to quickly if, ask, I want to quickly ask, if the tables do, were turned... If the, table, if the tables were turned and this was Belo Matawale's choice to make, do you think that this would have happened to an emo person or anybody from any other part of the country if the tables were turned? Secondly, if, I mean, now that it's happened and now that it's made news and, not, and she's given her reasons why she left, what form of unification or change do you think that this will bring about in Imo State? Let's not forget, Imo State has its own problems. Um, a, a, a king was kidnapped and, um, and then killed and abducted in a public place. A monarch was uh, a, a abducted some days ago. He thankfully regained freedom. Of course, there's some, Imo is fast becoming a theater of war for, of sorts, for want of a better way to describe it. What form of change does that Shinkafi lady coming to Imo State as a member of the Executive Council bring to the, to the states in general, if you have any idea? Okay, number one, um, I may not know whether if, uh, if the governor of Zamfara State is asked to take a similar position, whether he will take somebody from Imo State or take a commissioner that is already residing that has never resided in uh, Zamfara State. I may not be able to say that, but I, to me, I think that the lesson that uh, the governor of Zamfara State, and of course other governors should learn, is the lesson to ensure, because each time the governors will point accusing fingers to, to the people or to citizens, that they are the ones dividing, the, dividing Nigeria, dividing the nation. I want to say that uh, if you look at it uh, critically, you will find out that it may not be the people. It may be government at all levels. Government have not made concerted effort, have not persistently tried to ensure a reflection of Nigeria in the cabinet of all the, all the state uh, uh, executive council. So let's hope that this will be a lesson to some of the governors. And, and again, if the the uh, the commissioner, the um, I, I don't know uh, the full name, but if the new commissioner so appointed in Nemo State, if she does well, that will further cement or will further show that it, it that to perform creditably well as a member of the executive council does not uh, require one to come from that state. And evidence are bound. Most of the things 
most of the projects in some of the states that were carried out by the military administrators that are not from that particular state will always stand tall to show that it doesn't matter where the person comes from. But that's Whether different. The, the military administrators state, were like governors. Their mandate was to make sure, of course, it was within their purview to do all of those things. It was their job. This is what a military administrator is. He's not a commissioner. He's not an appointee. He is the governor at the time of that state. So, yes, it is, it's his duty to make sure that he develops the state within the tenure that he has. I don't think that it's the same. I, th I don't think it's the same um, scenario that you're painting because I think one is different from it the may, other. It may, not be, it, may not, it may not be the same. It may not be the same completely. But if you look at it from the point of, uh, okay, let's look at it from this point that the governor was given mandate by the people to, uh, to develop the state. And the governor feels strongly that there are some persons that are not from that state that can, uh, that can assist in ensuring that the development for which the mandate was extended to him happens. I do not think that is a wrong thing. But like I said, it's not an end. It's not an end yet. It will only be an end and a beautiful thing. If the governor, if the commissioner that is appointed goes to Imo State and does excellently well in whatever capacity or portfolio that the governor may assign to her, that will not be good. But if she goes there and does a wishy-washy thing and did not perform well, then the governor will have his head the, on a platter before the people will ask for the governor's head on a platter. Okay. Because they will say that the governor, instead of appointing citizens or Imo indigents, I decided not to, only to appoint somebody who is not from there to come. And again, the person, again, did not do well. So all, no matter how we look at it, what will determine whether or not uh, this uh, attitude or this uh, uh, kind of appointment will continue in the future and it will be good in the future will be the service okay. that will be Our rendered performance. by Our the overall performance. commissioner that is appointed in Imo State. Okay. I do not want to be pretty. I okay. don't want to look at whether or not the person uh, has the experience or whatever thing. I want to look at it from the positive angle. Number one, okay. it will engender unity. We it will, will we... show that uh, not only not only in Lagos State, that at least in Imo State, or, okay. or in the state in the we east, have to go. We have to go. We, 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 we're, we're out of time, and I, we're out of time, and we have to go. I want to thank you. We'll keep our eyes on uh, Shinkafi in Imo State and see how the story develops. Thank you very much. Obina Chuku is a legal practitioner. Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us. Uh, Nigerians tell us whether they believe the government is serious about fighting insecurity. And that is what I leave you with tonight on Plus Politics. I am Mary Anna Cohn. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Uh, what I'm seeing in this country, I'm not happy with it. Uh, we are not secure at all. We are not secure because I see no reason why uh, this all this issue of this uh, bandit will be happening every blessed day. Not that the government did not know what they're supposed to do. They know what they're supposed to do, but it's like they are playing game with themselves inside on, on, on that place. If not, what is there? If a military, a Nigerian military can go to outside and then uh, 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 go for a peacemaker and uh, make sure they capture everything. How much money is this country here? The participation of the government about it, I don't really think they are even ready to solve this security uh, problem because they are focusing on other things. There are a lot of things they are dividing their attention to and they never think this security issue is so important to what they can stand on. See, they focus on only their pocket, what they benefit from, what they can get something from. You understand? So they are not really working on the security of the, the country. Because 
how can you say band or not all bandits are criminals? Somebody is saying that. And uh, you are going to uh, IPO and calling them they are, they, are the, they are the criminals disturbing the country. Why Boko Haram have been there for years, killing till present, and you could not see anything about that? The government are playing games. As you can see, insecurity everywhere, people dying. People dying, even in streets. There is no security, even in so-called streets. Before 10 o'clock, everywhere is, you know, dark. There is no street light. Street light, as you mean there is street light, at least we will be saying, okay, uh, somebody that is coming to attack us, we will be seeing him or her. But this time around, we are not seeing anybody. Everywhere is totally dark. And we are now talking about insecurity. Definitely, the government are playing games.